Hey there folks, today we are looking at Andor, the family fantasy game. I'm not sure if you're curious, you probably have maybe seen the box, but I've got over here the Legends of Andor, which is uh, a red, orangish red box, and it is kind of a, and it expanded, this is a condensed version of that, is basically the best way to say it. This is uh, very simplified in some different ways, uh, but still a really fun game. I was really impressed. It looks like to me, you know, it's a little bit more of a, a a kids game at first uh, but I was really impressed with how fun this is for adults my wife and I just played it and actually she really enjoyed the simplified version of it it's really streamlined easy to get into and that kind of stuff so really really fun uh, one thing that I would recommend potentially is even if you're playing with two players still to play with all four of the characters there's four characters you can play in here and I think the the curve there's a little bit of things you change to kind of mitigate the difficulty level of how many people you're playing with uh, but i would recommend even if you're playing with two players each of you kind of control two characters um and it, it it would be a little more balanced i think having those abilities and and turns and different things like that so a really fun game really really interesting and straightforward something i like about this one and something that's different between this one and the other one the other one has all these cards you're going through uh, as a story, and it's got basically a campaign that you're running through all these different uh, missions and things like that. This one basically is the same main storyline and theme of what you're trying to do. There's the uh, mother wolf right here, and you're trying to find the three little wolf pups. That's how you win the game is by finding them in the caves. And so you have to complete some other tasks before you're able to get into the cave. And there's a bunch of different tasks that you can choose from. So you're just doing two of those each game. It may be going and getting a pigeon and taking it back to the the king, the the castle with special um, special rules and that, or maybe collecting certain types of things or delivering things. So a lot of it is similar, but it, it changes a little bit, which I really enjoy. Uh, and then it just gives you a more full sense and feel for the game in general. And so if we just look at the back right here, show you a few little things. We've got uh, these cards right here. So these are the two task cards basically that we had to complete. And we're running around, there's all these fog tiles. So you get to flip those over and those may be good or bad things. You've got these these guys around the board that you can fight for, for different things to keep the dragon away from the castle. If the dragon gets to the castle, then you lose. So that's how you lose. And each one of these guys, when you defeat them, you get to move the dragon back. Or when one of these makes it to the castle, the dragon moves forward. So all of that, all the bad stuff really combines into one thing, the dragon moving forward towards the castle. And the good things you do, push that back, uh, ultimately uh, completing your little tasks and then making your way into the um, I want to say dungeon, it's not really a dungeon, it's into the mountains over here where you're able to cross the bridge right here and then start looking underneath all of these tiles to find those wolf cubs. So I was I was really impressed with it. You've got these uh, different little pieces, different uh, actions for each character. has got their own little different thing that they can do and it was, it was really, really impressive. I really enjoyed it. So overall, really fun game, one that I would definitely recommend. If you are curious about that one, I might recommend playing this first. And if you don't like this, you're not going to like that, I don't think. Um, but if you enjoy this, that definitely, and you want something a little more in depth, a little more of a story than Andor, Legends of Andor is something I could recommend. And if you've enjoyed that and you're curious about this, this could be something that I think would be really great for getting other people accustomed quickly with some of the basic rules and different things of the game, how a lot of the different features and things work um, and that kind of a thing. So overall, really, really impressive game, really did enjoy it. I was curious originally what the replay value would be because there weren't nearly as many cards as the other one, uh, but there really is a pretty decent replay value in some of those different tasks that you that you change up each game. It's going to be very similar, so you, you can definitely play this enough to where you've played every scenario, uh, but you, you'd you have a really good uh, amount of playtime in this before you get to that point. So overall, the Legends, sorry, this is Andor, the fantasy, the family fantasy game. Really did enjoy it, and I hope that gives you guys a nice touch and a taste of what it is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.